think we ain't got everything. We got enough. We going bow fishing? Unfortunately, I did not get to get a whole lot of this on video and that's because it was pretty high speed and low drag and we were more focused on getting some rays in the boat than trying to record it. So I'm sorry y'all, I'll do better next time. Mm. Bow fishing last night. We were gonna record all this stuff, but it didn't end up happening like that. Yeah, we need a cameraman. Should have got me to go with us. <laughs> That's a gar. We had to look at this. Look at that. Like a big giant popsicle. But we went bow fishing last night on the bay. Killed a cooler full of stingrays and one gar. We're running off about three hours of sleep, maybe. We're about to clean all this mess. And they are so slimy and nasty when you let them see it overnight. But we didn't get home till about three o'clock this morning. <clears throat> nice. Everybody ask if we eat all these stingray and guard stuff we shoot. And yes, we do eat them. Take a machete on these guards. Yeah, dull one. That one's dull. Bad. Mom and Daddy had to feed us or something, man. We would start we we'd starve to death if it wasn't for eating stuff like this. Gar's good though. Yeah. And that's all that joker is, is meat. Yeah. Meat and scales. Yeah, let me tell you that I had tough. Yeah, I want to see a big different coming out of salt water like that. We ain't never ate a salt. No it's one a, it's out of a salt water. fresh water gar. Yeah. No one is out of salt. A long nosed gar. I wonder if it's. You know, they, taste, they got a little bit more taste to them when they're coming out of salt water. So maybe, maybe this is the case right now. Watch yourself. Prehistoric. What 
you I'm gonna hold. Just hold it like. Look at it, I went between and it went all down in there then. The scales are short. Yeah, I saw where uh, Becca made a, a quiver. Do you want, um, you want to get some of Dave's? I got one. That's what I got on. I'm just getting mine seasoned. Yeah, well, you're going to get it all over you, so. Backstrap on a deer. I don't, or, I don't or, know if they can see it. Or a gator. Why are you just going right down the backbone like you were playing a catfish or something? No bones. This will all be just boneless. Don't everybody think they are, they are real bony? Yeah. Well, some people do. They're not, though. Suckers are the ones. Yeah. See, there's no bones. It's just like a, like a back strap of a deer right there. What you on that hole? Cut the red off it just like you would a catfish. Let's tell them what we're doing. You tell them. Clean and gone. Took the machete and cut a strip all the way up his back. And then you just cut it like you would a uh, back strap on a deer. You see it. Yeah. Boneless gar. I got two videos going at once. Mark got slop rubbed yeah. all so, over I mean, daddy's phone. Look at that. I mean, it don't get no better than that. That's pretty stuff. And my phone. Appreciate y'all. Ah. Appreciate y'all. All right. I mean, something. <coughs> I mean, something. Put this crap in. And that's all that's left. Nothing. Yeah, so Good. that's that's ribs all the way down. And you don't eat the roe. You don't eat gar roe. They say it's poisonous or something. What? No. That ain't good. You're all talking. our drums and buckets and stuff are up at my house where I was getting corn the other day for the hog traps. So I'm taking Hunter's truck, which is why I'm having such a hard time reaching the wheel. Right up to my house, which ain't far at all. Get one of these buckets. Slop bucket, throw all the nastiness in, the guts and stuff. Like boiled okra on steroids. There's two big old chunks of meat on the top and the bottom on their wings. Yep. Gut trap there, so. Get that in the middle. And everybody asks what they taste like, they just taste good. Yeah. We've Friday. heard that people use them like replace scallops with these, but I ain't never had scallops, so I don't know if they taste like that or not. Pretty good. I got it. We've got about the same assembly line with this as we've got with catfish. Same crew. 
Just <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no doubt. Ain't no doubt. Same crew. Now I'll show them the bottom and I'll be cutting them up. Yeah, you don't get near as much off the bottom. See, that's cartilage. Can you see that right there? Listen. That's just cartilage, so you just cut right alongside that. The further you get out, the thinner it gets. Some good eating. You got some funny looking meat. What's left, and all yeah. that is is guts and cartilage. Cartilage, yeah, thank you. God, Daddy just blew slop all over me. You can't worry about stuff like that, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing, good win. <laughs> right. Nothing. But oh, blow. baby, you know. All right, these right here, you just fillet the good it. stuff. Off the skin, pretty much. Is yeah, that how the, you describe that? Yeah, you get the good stuff off the bad stuff. Yeah. And Daddy just sharpened these knives this morning. Yeah, and ain't real sharp. We paid like five dollars for these things. You stuff, ain't so got right? good thing, got good steel now. So. There you go, fit for that. I can hit them on the steel, huh? That one of mine's getting off. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the other side. Good job. Perfect. <laughs> Got a little hickory leaf in there.
indicator up there. I'm gonna look at half that. Never mind. You got one. Can't say it right when it's looking at you. Keep waiting for one of them to bust me on the top of the head. Paw Paw. Paw Paw, cook it. Does he like it or does he try it? I don't know if he's trying it. Daddy liked it. They're calling it squid and all kind of crap in Louisiana. Octopus. What? <laughs> that crazy joker that was thought your name was Mike. Squid. Octopus. This is a cow nose. Tastes yep. just like stingray. Pretty much a stingray. That's just, thing, it's it's just a thing. different kind. Yeah, yeah. This is the kind. This is the kind that stuck Hunter in the arm. Yeah, they'll get you. Let's, where is it at? See that hole, that little scar right there? He knows all about it. No fun. You think you bad, just let one of them hit you. <laughs> and what to do if you get stuck by a stingray? Hot water breaks down the poison. Technically venom before somebody corrects me. Ain't that right? That's what they say. <laughs> a big one. Not a good time for my nose to be itching. I was going, but I got that gars in the bottom of it. We just cleaned. I don't know. A buttload of stingray. Yeah. And one load. gar. Yeah. Finally getting a little cooler weather. So proud to see it. Where's that brush at? Get a little soap. Appreciate y'all. <laughs>